Hi, my name is Heather, and today I'm going to show you how to use Affinity Designer on the iPad to convert your sketch into a multicolor SVG that you can import into Cricut Design Space. Ooh, that was a mouthful. So to start, if you haven't watched my previous video about converting your sketch into a single color SVG, go ahead and watch that first because that's actually the first step through this whole process. And then once you have your single color SVG, then this is what it will be like. You'll have all one color and if you use your node tool, you'll see that there's no actual strokes like lines, it's all just shapes. So you'll have these points like all around your shapes and you're going to want to take that and let's go back and make a duplicate that way we can still keep our original and then I'm going to open it and the first step is that you want to fix any of your holes that you have so for example, if I zoom in, I have these holes here because we're going to be filling in the shapes with color, the inside shapes. So if there's a hole here, then it's going to leak out. So I'm just going to zoom in and I'm going to grab my brush tool and make sure everything's set how I want it. I think I'll probably make it a little smaller. Um, ooh, that's real big. Oh, um, you can change your controller to pressure. So then that way, if you go lighter with the brush versus harder, then it will be thinner or thicker. And I'm just going to make this even smaller here. Okay, that's better. And I'm just going to fill this in. and then find any other holes. I probably want this to be filled in here. It doesn't have to be filled in, but just so it looks a little better. And I have a hole here. All right, and I think that's about it for the holes. So the next step is for those little fill-ins that we just drew, we want to expand the stroke and this will make them into shapes just like the rest of the image. So I'm going to grab my move tool and I'm just going to grab everything and I'm going to go to these three dots here and I will do expand stroke. And then you can see everything it expanded is selected. And now we just need to combine everything together. So there's a couple different ways to do this. The first way to do it is select all, and then we're gonna do the three dots and do add. And as you can see, it's a little buggy. So that's one of the things about Affinity Designer. That's the main thing between Affinity Designer and Illustrator is that Affinity Designer is just kind of buggy, but Illustrator doesn't really, I mean, I haven't really found many bugs when I'm working in it. It's pretty consistent. So if we look in the layers palette, it just combined everything. So that didn't work. So that's the first thing you want to try. If it doesn't work, do undo and then do um, the three dots separate curves and then if you look in your layers palette this has all of the little cutout things and plus the whole outline so it has all your little shapes but any of the holes like where the shell is where inside of his body is where it was transparent is now just a shape that's filled in so what we're going to do is just have all of this selected and then we're going to do three dots and we're going to pick X or. And then what this is going to do is any place where there were any shapes overlapping, it just removes that part. 
Oh, by the way, if you see pink on my fingers, it's because I was changing the ink in my printer and somehow the ink just started pouring out of the ink cartridge. <laughs> and so it stained my hands. All right, so now if we go to our layers palette, we can see that it's all one thing. We have the layer and all of our curves are here. So that's good. Our next step is that we want to fill in our shapes with colors. So I'm gonna do the three dots and I'm going to do separate curves now. And now we have all of our curves again. The difference this time is that we were able to combine those shapes into it. So first, so that we can see all of our shapes, let's hide the bottom layer, which is the whole silhouette that goes all the way around it. And this is gonna be very important, and I'll tell you why later, that we have this silhouette. It just makes it so much easier when you're doing iron-ons and stuff. So now we have all of our different shapes here. The eye is kind of missing, but the shapes are here, and we'll address that in a second. But for now, let's start coloring in our picture, which is the fun part. So I'm going to select one of the shapes and I'm going to go up here and this is the fill and this is the stroke. So you want the stroke to be blank so you want to have no stroke and then the fill you can set it to whatever you want. So um, I'll do, I'm not going to do white because I want to be able to see it a little bit so maybe I'll do like a very light gray. And then for the shell on top of his head. I'm going to go into recent colors and I have this right here so I'll just click it. So now we have the shell, his body, I'll do it a green, and then the tail, it's now in recent colors so I'll just click that green. And now the eye. So the eye is a little tricky and the reason why is because it didn't cut it out. And this is another thing, like with Illustrator, it would just all be cut out, but you kind of have to do a little bit of workarounds in Affinity Designer. So what we want our end result to be is we have this black silhouette here in the back and that's gonna provide all the black. It's just gonna be the entire silhouette cut out and then all these little pieces will be separate pieces cut out that we can put on top of it. So with the eye, first we can fill in the white part of the eye just so we can see what it is. So I'll do it in like kind of a light grayish color. Actually, I'll use, just use the same color I used before for the egg, for the shell. And then this part right here is the circle around it. And we want that to be cut out of the green. So that way the green of his head will have a hole and you'll see the black underneath it. Again, if you did this in Illustrator, it would all be done for you. But in Affinity Designer, you know, there's some bugs. So I'm going to select the, the circle of the eye and I'm going to select the green. And actually I'll hide the white part just to make it clear what I'm doing. So I have the circle of the eye and I have the green. And I'm going to go to the three dots and I'm going to do subtract. Okay, so now that's cut out. So when I put this in the back and I add that on top of it, then you have the eye. So we have, these are the layers that we would have when we do our iron on. And then this is the bottom layer, this silhouette. And then when you look at your layers palette, you want to just kind of inspect it and see if there's any weird things. So this is weird. We have this weird little extra line here. And if I zoom in, I mean, who knows what this is, some strange shape. So we can just go ahead and delete it with this little delete button up here. And then also, if you want, you can kind of touch things up a little bit, but you do have to be careful and pay attention to what you're actually editing because remember, we have our silhouette in the back. So like if I want to straighten out this line, 
this is not going to do anything to the silhouette. It actually would be the um, outline of the green that I would be editing. So like I could delete this node and delete this node and then that just makes it a little bit straighter. Okay, it definitely helps to keep like hiding and showing the part in the back. But basically that's pretty much it. The other thing though is when you bring it into Cricut Design Space, sometimes you might want some pieces to kind of stay in the same orientation of where they are. So for example, if you want the body and the tail to be cut out exactly as they are, not like the tail just as this random separate piece that's in some random place on the vinyl. Like you want the head here and the tail here exactly. Then you can grab the head and grab the tail. So I'm just swiping right on the head and swiping right on the tail. And I'm gonna do the three dots. And there's two different ways you can do this which is good because, you know, in case it's buggy, one is you can do add, and then that worked, but I'll show you the other way, which is the three dots and do merge curves. So we have that as well. And then we can do that with the bottom shell and the top shell, maybe even the eye too. And I'll do merge curves. Oh, that messed up. Oh, maybe I had this selected. Okay, let's try it again. There we go. So now we have our shell and the eye as one. So that would be cut out as one. And then we have our green part, which would be cut out as one. And then we have the bottom, which would be cut out as one. Okay. Now we will click the little file icon, export, and we're gonna pick SVG. And we have tarotbabycoffee.svg. I'll name it tarotbabycolored.svg. And then just like with the last one, so if you had text in it, you would wanna do text as curves. But really, I would actually probably convert the text to curves before I exported it. And then I just like to turn off JPEG compression, even though we don't have any images in it. Just kind of get in the habit of doing it, because who really wants any JPEG compression in their life? Um, and that's about it. And we can do OK. And then just save that wherever you like to save stuff. Now I'm going to go to Cricut Design Space. I'm going to pick New Project. And I'm just going to replace this one that was already here, which was the single color one. So I'm going to do replace. And I'm going to upload. Browse files. And I have tarot baby colored here, so I'm going to click that. Name it. And here's our little tarot baby. And as you can see from the layers, since we combine these shapes, we have these different parts as separate pieces. Let me ungroup this. And now I can move these little pieces around. And as you can see, this is what would be cut out of the green vinyl. This would be cut out of the white. And then this would cut out the black and then you can just piece it together and one thing that I really like to do when I have something like this is because there's usually a little bit of shrinkage from the first layer that I iron on like if I iron on the black one first then it'll shrink a little bit and then these pieces might be too big so what I like to do is take the black one and make it a little bit bigger, just a tad. And make it bigger as to where like if it didn't shrink, it would still be okay. So for example, this and I have the little green guy here. 
So it may be a little too big, so I could make it maybe a little bit smaller. And then that way it could still kind of work. But it's still a little bit bigger than its original size. And that's about it. So I hope this helped you to convert your sketch into an SVG so that you can do all kind of fun things with it on your Cricut. Let me know if this was helpful or if you have any questions. Have fun. Bye.